pitching instruction. Three factors to great hitting. Madison Bumgarner approved. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitting Performance Lab, and in this video featuring Madison Bumgarner of the San Francisco Giants, we're going to be talking about pitching instruction secrets for hitters. We're going to be basing this off of something Ted Williams said a while back, that if a hitter wanted to get more efficient with his swing, that they should look at pitchers' deliveries. We're going to talk about three different human movement rules that apply to both pitching and hitting. The first one is the head start, second, the spinning ice skater, and the third one is the compressed spring. So first, let's talk about getting a head start. Science has a couple other names for getting a head start, also known as a conservation of linear momentum, the unweighting principle, or simply known as forward momentum. As you can see Madison Bumgarner here, he falls down the mound. Now we have a couple options when dealing with gravitational forces. We can either fight them or we can flow with them. If we fight them, we'll get what's known as reciprocal inhibition. In your body, your muscles have opposing forces. They contract and lengthen. And what happens is that relationship is reversed when we're doing reciprocal inhib inhibition. So it will slow down pitching velocity. The other thing we can do, the other option, is flow with it, which we get a free ride. Our arm here pitching gets a free ride. The ball, or if we're hitting our bat, it makes the turn, the final turn right here that you're seeing Madison Bumgarner do, it makes it much easier to do and it also turns Mad Bum's body into a projectile missile towards the hitter. This will increase pitching velocity. For a hitter to do this, all they have to do is commit their body weight forward. We're not hitting down a mound, we're hitting on flat ground, so it's just committing our body weight forward. So this is the pitching instruction for hitters, factor number one. Let's look into the spinning ice skater. Now science calls this the conservation of angular momentum. Think of the ice skater that's just jumped off the ice to do four spins in midair, and as she gets ready to fall back to the ground, she's going to begin to extend her arms out from her sides, and she's going to extend a leg out to slow down her rotation so she, that she can land in a balanced position. Now look at the condor here, Madison Bumgarner. You're going to see him spread out because he's not turning yet, but when he wants to increase his angular velocity or his turning speed, give his turning speed a boost, he's going to bend both arms at a 90 degree angle so that he can turn quickly, and then at the end he's going to extend that arm out towards the catcher's glove, which is going to increase his moment of inertia or his inertial force. If we look at Hunter Pence hitting home run in game one of the World Series to straightaway center fastball from James Shields, we're going to see him do some similar things, but he's holding a bat. He has a nice slight bend with the front arm, back arm's bent, he's going to get to contact, and then you're going to see him extend the back arm. He could probably extend the front arm a little sooner and a little bit more, but you see the same angular velocity, turning speed increase versus moment of inertia or inertial force. So this is pitching instruction for hitters, factor number two. Let's go into the compressed spring. Pitching instruction for hitters factor number three has to do with spinal injury mechanics and springy fascia. But what you're going to see with Madison Bumgarner is he's trying to get on a downward plane into the catcher's glove. So you're going to see him show his numbers to the hitter and he's going to have an upward shoulder angle. If we look at Hunter Pence, he's trying to get on an upward plane to meet the ball on a level plane. So you're going to see a downward angle with his shoulders and he's showing his numbers. But this is pitching instruction for hitters factor number three. Hope you guys learned a lot. Make sure we're swinging smarter by moving better.